Hi guys, that's my first video of the battery pack that I've developed for a hybrid cars. You can use them for like different types of hybrid cars, also for plug-in hybrid cars, also for electric cars to increase the range that they can drive in electric mode. So let's go and see how it looks like. So that's how it looks like. We've got here. We've got the batteries. There are laptop batteries, more than 1,000 of them. Then we've got the computer, the BMS that controls that the battery does not go overcharged or over discharged. And we've got the charger. The charger consumes the normal 220 volts from the socket, from household socket. So due to my specific design in the Prius of the first generation, I had to divide my battery packs into several modules. So at the moment, in order to meet the consumption of electric motor, which is which goes up to 7 kilowatt, I had to build quite a lot of batteries in it, inside here. <coughs> so, but in order to not to waste any space in my trunk, I had to split the batteries into several packs. So that's that's where you see the bigger pack is here and also like a small one here on the side. And of course the pass electronics that uh, watch that all. So at the moment that's the first uh, first concept. The, it's not yet well optimized or well organized, but the time goes on, we'll, the next ones will fit much better. So now let's go and take a drive and see how it works. Yeah, let's take it for a spin. Right guys, that we are inside. That's how it works. So at the moment we are in electric mode but we are in the forced electric mode because the first generation of Prius does not have an EV button that means we can't switch into EV mode however, due to the specificity of the car itself <coughs> we can force the car go into an EV mode well, it requires some triggering and it can be done but most of the time on the first generation of Prius you would prefer to drive in a blended mode but anyway we are in the EV mode right now and it's, it's really great you don't really hear noise from petrol motor it's simply it's off in EV mode we can drive with the current battery pack up to 40 kilometers in distance. It of course depends on how fast you drive. It takes about three hours to charge them up to 90%, but I guess it, it's worth doing it. In the blended mode, most preferably you drive on, on the highway that would give you some fuel consumption 
because an electric motor and a petrol engine will, will always work together. But since there is enough of juice in the batteries, the, motor, the electric motor will be assisting most of the time. And that would give you quite a good fuel consumption. Let's say the last time I've, I've done a run, it, it was around 3.9. 4.0 liters per hundred kilometers which is quite good and also in the city it allows you to drive in EV mode uh, which I guess for some people would be completely enough for their daily route okay now we can go all right and the great thing about electric cars, or at least on, and those that can drive on electricity, uh, that's the way it accelerates. It gives such an interesting sound, which you never have in a petrol, petrol car or a diesel car. And it's also very silent, it's very quiet. At the moment I've got 5 kilowatt of the capacity in my batteries. Those are from lithium battery cells that I bought on eBay on from, from used laptops. So I didn't want I didn't want to risk my first prototype and spending too much money on on what I could not have worked out. But apparently the result is really good. I'm, I'm, I'm really satisfied. So it gives... It gives like people interesting... When, when they see you driving, they don't know whether they're, it's an electric car or you're broken because they hear nothing. That gives it quite a nice feeling. Although you don't want to scare them. They wouldn't like it. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think about the project, leave your comments.